Chronology of Auditors. For many years, Colport Borough Records were audited by elected auditors, individuals from the Borough of Colport poured through the records to determine that financial records were correct and no funds of the taxpayers were misappropriated. A secretary treasurer historically took advantage of an opportunity to embezzle funds from the Borough of Colport's treasury. Due to the conviction of inappropriate taking of borough funds, council enacted Colport Borough Ordinance 190 on May 4, 2015, to displace elected auditors with an independent auditor. The Progressive Colport Borough Council in November 7, 2016, enacted an ordinance entitled Codified Ordinances of the Borough of Colport, Pennsylvania, Colport Borough Ordinance 194. The codification of all ordinances was to demonstrate to the public all the ordinances that were enforceable in the borough of Colport. Unfortunately, in the inventory of ordinances in force, Ordinance 190 was not included. Therefore, the Ordinances 190 was not in force to hire future independent auditors. In 2018, the Borough Council did hire an independent auditor with no ordinance or resolution to lawfully hire an independent auditor. The firm, a certified public accountant, was excellent in their preparation and process of discovery, but was not aware of the Borough Code 1005, Section 7, which requires to have an ordinance in force to hire an independent auditor. The firm would not continue service for future audits due to the fact there was no ordinance in place for the hiring of an independent auditor. In 2018, a resolution book was enacted by council. Resolutions were not held in a specific book for all borough res resolutions prior to 2018. In 2019, resolution 2019 number 15 was enacted by borough council. December 27, 2019, for the expressed purpose of enacting an ordinance for hiring independent auditors by amending Ordinance 194, the codification of ordinances. In 2020, without compliance with Resolution 2019, Number 15, Colport Borough Council unlawfully hired an independent auditor who resigned several months later due to the denial of needed records from Council. The, the second independent auditors, as the independent auditors of 2018, did not know that there was no ordinance for the hiring or the lawful hiring of an independent auditor. Council failed to inform both independent auditors firms in 2019 and 2020. No amending of Ordinance 194 was enacted by the 2020 Colport Borough Council. 
the Honorable Solicitor on Monday, December 7th, 2020, at 1.40 p.m., addressed the need of compliance to re uh, Resolution 2019, number 15, stating the Council should develop an ordinance for an independent auditor. Lawfully, a solicitor is legally responsible for preparing all legal documents by statute. The Council of 2020 did nothing. No motion for an ordinance or a resolution. February 10th, 2021, for the safety of the taxpayers and citizens of Colport Borough, the Honorable Margaret A. Madalena, Mayor, wrote a letter to the Honorable Timothy L. DeFore, Auditor General, for help in a matter of Council's lack of attention to a need of completion of audits for 2018, 2019, and 2020. On March 17th, 2021, Colport Borough Council called for a special meeting for the purpose of enacting a proposed Ordinance 195 for hiring independent auditors pursuant to the Borough Code 1005, Section 7, and follows. After 15 months of inaction, the Coport Borough Council held a special meeting on March 17, 2021, for the purpose of enacting a proposed Ordinance 195 refusing to adhere to the Lawful Resolution 2019, number 15, wherein the order was to amend Ordinance 194 for the in introduction of a line item for hiring an independent auditor to be placed in Ordinance 194, the codification of the Colport Borough Ordinances. The video for this special meeting of March 17, 2021 at 6.30 p.m. for the action of proposed ordinance enactment will shortly begin for your review. Thank you for the privilege to present the historical chronology process that Colport Borough Council took to do the business of citizens and taxpayers. For December 27th, 2019, until March 17th, 2021, Colport Borough Council did nothing to ensure the safety of financial matters with completed audits required each year by law. The Commonwealth of Pennsylvania has Z-blocked Colport Borough for negligence concerning financial matters. Taxpayers and citizens have been denied grants due to the negligence of the council. Safety and inaction has caused harm and loss. Please make sure you are registered to vote and vote in the next election for a new council. Respectfully, Reverend Gerald W. Spade, Sr. All rise. <laughs> 30, 40, still engine. <laughs> Number 40. Um, that was another thing I forgot to tell you. I ordered flowers yesterday for the dog, which had surgery on Monday, and I just signed everybody's name to it. So, how's she doing? Still good. So, if she thanks you for the flowers, yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she want to thank everybody for the flowers. I didn't want you to be yeah. like, um, yeah, she sure. appreciates some. Yeah. Surprise. Well, I don't think you're going to say. Okay. No, I'm going to do that. Why, uh, yeah, so what would you have? Yeah. Uh, NASA. Oh, NASA. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's great. Yeah, EEMC. Yeah. 
Um, that's hard when they're old, when you're older. You know, you can't see how three dozen you have a urologist. Don't they? I sat at none. If it is stated, I need a urologist. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to do this to you, but the MRI is replaced. Please send to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. President Brady Trump. Here. Vice President Kevin Zawada. Here. Robert Lee. Here. Adon Mingwong. Sean Mingwong. Here. And Margaret Malalino. Here. The reason why we're here today is, um, as you know, we have to get our accounts for 2019-2020 audited real soon, and there was um, some mix-ups with the ordinances for um, that would help us or that would let us have an independent order. So before we can advertise for an independent order, we needed to have an ordinance for this, and we have to advertise for it. Or I don't even know if I said that right. Okay. Let's start again. Before um, we can actually sign with the independent auditor, we have to have an ordinance in place for that independent auditor. So we have to be able to advertise that we're going to have this ordinance um, here at the borough for residents to be able to view this ordinance and um, get that underway. Um, so we need a motion to be able to advertise for this ordinance. Um, so I need that motion in place. I will make that uh, motion. To advertise for, do I have a second? Okay. Do I have a second? No second. All those in favor signify by aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, motion carried. We have that ordinance in front of us. That's ordinance number 195. Yeah, can I get a copy? I gave mine. Got it. Okay. So the proposed ordinance is in front of you that this was um, sent on to our solicitor. So she is a working solicitor. Her approval. So this ordinance will be advertised in our in the progress newspaper. Um, are there any questions concerning it? Okay. So um, also with this ordinance, um, it also has to be sent to the county library, and um, then after the 30 days, we will meet again so that the ordinance can actually be adopted put into place and then we will be able to sign with that independent auditor at that time. So if we still have and he so stated to us my... that um he stated to us I mean this is only the 17th of March he right. stated to us with the tax season and everything he couldn't do anything till at least April so this is our timetable. Right. So. And he did say he was hoping to have it done by May, correct? I may. I now, I have about. his contract here that he sent to me. Okay. And the date that he put in here for us is, I was reading it before I came up here, um, is July 31st. He reports, we expect to begin our audit on approximately April 1st, but of course with the issues, I wanted to speak to Rich before I... Um, um, before this meeting, but I had I had to run out of town real quick um, on a family issue before the meeting, and I'm not sure if he called me back. Um, but I wanted to tell him that until this is in place, we can't officially hire him. Um, so um, with what is here, he states that we expect to begin our audit on approximately April 1st and to issue our reports no later than July 31st. So this is just a um projected date right. so um that kind of protects him he doesn't expect for it to take him extremely long um in doing what he needs to do we he does lay some things out we're very fortunate um, so and that's basically what we got that's what we're here for madam so we get this underway. madam president um, as you recall, the links and associates um, did not complete 2018. Is are you going to include that he in? He has he has a copy of that, and um, 
he he has a copy of that on it. Okay. Because they they said they'd never finished it. Well, so. you know, they, they, it was enough that we had it. We got it passed through. Yeah, it right? was still approved was, by DC. I forget yeah. what he called it a. It, it, it was wasn't approved. It, it wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. Well, as it long as that was our DC. main thing, we got it approved by them. That was the main thing. We. So you're not going to finish the uh, 2018. We will do what he advises us yeah, to do. What he recommends. Thank you. Anything else? Anybody have any questions? That's why they're calling for work. What's that? That's why they're calling for work. Rain. Well, it's terrible <laughs> rain. Well, <there. laughs> Is it? Hey, yeah, seriously. <laughs> We're not kidding you. <laughs> Everyone has to vote in the affirmative or it's lost. Who did what when? According to the statute, it has to be two thirds, so that means all four of you have to vote in the affirmative to pass the ordinance. The ordinance is being viewed, it's not being adopted until it is advertised for 30 days. Mm -hmm. It's a proposed ordinance. We will meet again in 30 days to adopt the ordinance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? Is that what I'm understanding you asking, correct? Yeah, I just wanted to... Verify what's, what's yeah. happening. Yeah. Okay, so what's happening now is we have to advertise the ordinance. The ordinance has to be viewed by the public. They have a chance to view the <clears throat> proposed ordinance. Then after the 30 days of the advertising, the, um, you know, it being available for public viewing, we then meet again after that time period, and then it is adopted, and we get the ball rolling then. Okay. So you're. It will be next month, about this time, next exactly. month. Another yes. special meeting. Yes. Do what we have to do. I thought maybe you'd meeting. wait until May, though. <laughs> you're no, good. we got to get the ball rolling. Okay. The sooner, the better. Get it out over here. There. I know these little um, 10 minute meetings are a pain, but um, we've got to do what it takes. Exactly, Kevin. Whatever it takes to get the ball rolling, and sometimes a matter of just a couple of days is, you know. Yeah. Especially in the situation. Right. Exactly. And I'm very sorry. I apologize that sometimes this is what it takes. and. Did, did I hear you correctly that the solicitor wrote this? Actually, the solicitor helped. Okay. I did a rough draft. I submitted it to the solicitor. She made changes and then sent it back to me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good. Anybody else have any questions? Do I have a motion to adjourn? Yeah, I'll make a motion to adjourn. Do I have a second? I'll second. All those in favor, signify by aye. Aye. Okay. Any opposed? Okay, meeting adjourned. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Is that today? Yeah. That's today. I'm Irish. I'm doing cold pork business on my holiday. <laughs> I didn't even know today was Wednesday until somebody asked. Well, today's St. Patty's Day. Hi. Whatever day is day, Kevin. Kevin, Kevin. One day is just like town. Me, Noel, and Bo Hannon are working on our. Town was on, I missed it. Don't even get me started. And so today that I maybe working on the holiday. Let's say I'm working. No, I just work at school. No, I collect a tax. Granted, it doesn't have a bird time, but I collect a tax. Yes,